Five iconic words and only six actors have ever spoken them. The name's Bond, James Bond. My name is Bond. James Bond. James Bond. Bond, James Bond. Ever since Daniel Craig announced his retirement as Bond, at least a dozen names have been mentioned as the next 007. Overnight, we learnt some guy a few people have heard of has been offered a licence to kill, Aaron Taylor Johnson. So who is he? And is he a good fit? Well, he is fit and he's British. He appeared in the Kick-Ass films, The Avengers and Bullet Train. Oh, very kind of you. Thank you very much. The big question is, does he have what it takes to fill Daniel Craig's shoes and his role? I'm happy with this decision. Let's find out if editor of the James Bond Down Under fan page agrees. His name is Roberts. James Roberts. Good evening. Good evening, Ali. How are you tonight? Hey, no one cares more than you about this decision. Was it a good one? It's a brilliant decision for Bond fans and the future of James Bond, that's for sure. Um, to have an actor actually offered a contract reportedly is fantastic. Uh, tangible news that we're all very happy about. Are we getting ahead of ourselves? I mean, this story comes from uh, The Sun in the UK. Do you reckon it's on the money, Penny? I mean, James? The Sun actually are known as not a particularly reliable um, mm. uh, news agency. However, they actually got Daniel Craig right back in 05 um, when they reported that he had a multi-film contract in April and then he was offered in announced uh, in October of that year. You are the president of the fan club. I'm surprised I haven't called you yet. But this is what the Bond producers do so well, right? That they get us all hyped up and guessing. There was a lot of talk that it might Correct. be Idris Elba or even the mm -hmm. first female Bond. And I kind of like that idea. Yeah, yeah look, um, there's a lot of people out there. Um, the producers have said it's going to be male, it's going to be British, of course. They've looked in the past at the Commonwealth and obviously had George Lazenby as James Bond in 1969. What did you think of Lazenby? Oh, look, I'm a big fan. Um, I thought he portrayed Bond really well. He, you know, was very masculine. He was strong on, on, uh, on film. Uh, so, no, and he's a great guy. I've met him. Why do you love James yep. Bond so much? I think it's the escapism. It's the action. It's everything about it. A little bit like yeah. Daniel Craig, um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, not that well known before Bond. With that mm. comes a lot of pressure, right? Absolutely. I mean, you go from, you know, zero kilometres an hour to 100 kilometres an hour as an international superstar um, recognised around the world. Daniel Craig had a very, you know, a very independent or indie film sort of filmography. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson is very similar, but it, of course he's been starring in Bullet Train of late and he's got a few projects where he's taking more of the lead um, rather than a supporting role. And basically, I think Bullet Train was the catalyst, particularly in Barbara Broccoli, the producer's words, where she wants an actor to actually carry a film. He absolutely nailed that, um, outshining Brad Pitt. Ooh, big call. Hey, who was your yeah. favourite Bond? <laughs> uh, I've always been a traditionalist, and uh, Timothy Dalton actually is my favourite uh, Bond actor. Um, what? Obviously, Sean is the best, but Timothy Dalton, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK, I was not expecting you to say He had two solid films. Yeah, well... No I, one ever does. You know, for me, James, it was Daniel Craig. And you know what I think it was? Oh. It was it was the dialogue in that scene where he emerges from the water. Uh, they were good words. I don't think he actually said anything, to be honest. Didn't he? I don't know why I remember that scene no. so well then. There you go. There you oh, go. I must have left you speechless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, well, if it is Aaron, we wish him all the best and always good to talk to you. Thank you, James. So do I. Roberts. Thank you so much, Ali.